hello hello and welcome back to the PUCL it's been a long time coming uh first of all hello my Nido kings and Nido queens welcome to the PUCL game week seven uh I want to formally apologize for game week six's uh, technical issues uh unfortunately me and SPV were unable to commentate due to uh voice comms issues however I'm here tonight, Wolf Remus 87. 40 SPV could not make it tonight, but I do have a special guest. We have Darling Dowell, or Chef Dowell, unfortunately. Well, welcome, Dowell. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, again. Again, yeah, second time round. You, you know, yeah. Start to become a bit of a regular appearance now here. Trying to make a habit of it. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to come. You know, it's uh, it's nice to have your input. Um, so, yeah, so. I think while we wait for the first game to come in, I think we need to discuss a few things that have happened over the last few weeks. Uh, one yeah. being the fact that ODD, unfortunately, have pulled out of the league. Um, they have. Big, big upset that's made. Um, obviously, we are gutted that uh, ODD had to pull out uh, due to their own personal reasons, and we wish them all the best in the future, hopefully. If the team the does want to return, so yeah, potentially, hopefully, return. It'd be nice, but that does shape things up with the league standings. Uh, as you can see right now, fully stacked do make their way into first place uh, as they were chasing ODD down. Uh, the stats we've got now are the stats from after game week six. So we've got fully stacked on 14 wins, four losses. And they're sitting nicely with 14 points at the top there, which um, is going to be some mean it's feats. Not showing on screen, but I... um, yeah, don't worry, there's a two minute time delay. <laughs> Makes sense. Yes, it does. We do have sound. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, but yes, uh, so fully stacked now in first place, and they are comfortably sat there with a big margin between the second place, which is past primates, which are nine for nine with nine points. However, chasing them down in third place is Kimiko with 7 to 11, with 7 points. And then down at the bottom of the league, we've got Philab Polyrath in fourth place with 5 points. And Golduck sat there with 5 points as well. Big games coming up. Uh, Golducks do automatically get their 3-point victory uh, due to them. They would have been scheduled to play ODD today. So with ODD no longer being... Uh, in the season, any team that faces off against them get a automatic three-point win, which does mean Gold Ducks will go into fourth place if Phil Polyraf cannot get a victory tonight. So, with that, Dal, what do you uh, what do you make of it all? With yeah, the shake-up of the league and where people are. Well, I personally think people will be glad that they don't have to play ODD. Uh, they only lost one game in the entire series yeah odd um, were definitely running away with it yeah they were a, a very very well well organized team um and i'm sad to see them go but i think it gives other teams a great opportunity now that the league is basically wide open all over again oh definitely um, so. i think feel our poly have a lot of work to do tonight but i think they're going to prove themselves i've had a bit of a switch around with the roster yes there has been a um, fair few changes between uh all the teams there has. Um it would actually be quite interesting if we could get them up. I think actually I think it past primates are the only ones who haven't made massive mid season change. During the mid season where there was a lot of uh shake arounds between some of the teams. Uh obviously fully stats used to be X Tac Blissey uh under a new name. Uh they now stand as fully stats with a few new changes in there. Kimiko also with some new changes in their roster. Same with Phil Apollyraf, they've got some new players as well. So, like you said, it'd be interesting to see how they all gel together and come in. Yeah, Kimiko have done some pretty good recruiting. Getting um, Sabi and Clagoni. Yeah, to get Sabi in from uh, Phil Apollyraf was a very... Um, it, it almost didn't, didn't happen, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, Kimiko will be glad to have Sabi from Phil Apollyraf as he's a very strong player. Um. Speaking of Phil Polyraf, game one tonight, past primates versus Phil Polyraf, kicking off in a moment. So, predictions here. What do you reckon between these two? 
I think this is going to go 2-1 for our polygraph. Yeah, it will be... Uh... It'd be interesting because it's been a while since past primates played Filipov. I think they faced off towards the beginning of the season. Uh, I think, was it beginning of the season, Filipov? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so a lot of changes have happened since then. So it, for past primates, it's going to be like facing off against a completely new team, which will be interesting in itself. <laughs> I think if they've done the research as well and watched about the streams, which we recommend everybody to do, um, they will learn a lot from their own gameplay and the other teams they're playing against. Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, past primates, we know past primates can adapt. They have been a contender in this league right from the get-go. They've always been yeah. sat mid-table the whole way through. And they've, like, you take last week's game against Kimiko. I actually mm -hmm. thought Kimiko was going to win that, but past primates yep. coming with a 2 1 victory, amazing. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, when that turnaround match come around, because obviously it was 1 1 coming to the third game, and past primates coming in and just, uh, yeah, it blew me away. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, uh, I feel like Polygraph have definitely got a hard game ahead of them, but. I think past primates equally have got a tough game with this new and revamped Phil Polygraph. Agreed. I'm also looking forward to seeing Golducks because to me they are the most improved team compared to game week one. They've just come on leaps and bounds, teamwork, synergy, everything. Oh, 100%. Uh, Golducks, unfortunately, Golducks, like I say, they're not playing today because they would have been scheduled to play ODD. Oh, they, would play ODD. they would be doing, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I totally. The next one. Yeah. yeah, they'll be playing next week. Um, we will, I'll go on to the league standings for next week after uh, Kimiko played, but they are playing. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing them come back because they were away this weekend. They're over at, in London, over at the Pokemon event. So uh, I hope they all did well in that. I think those at the Pokemon uh, TCG. So if they are watching, we hope you did well in the TCG uh, event. Um, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Um, have you got, I think you've got leadership there. Monsieur Dallo. I'll pass it over to you. Pass it over to me. So, and without further ado, ladies and gents, boys and girls, we are going to jump straight into this game one of uh, past primates versus Phil Apoyraf. And we are just going to make our way there. Three, two, one, and go. So, Banzen, how do you think we're going to work? What's going to go to then today? Uh, I'm expecting Espion to be banned quite a lot. And also comfy. Yeah, I feel uh, Espion. I mean, I've played uh, today. I've been playing quite a bit. Espion is a very popular pick. So yeah, I can see mm -hmm. again, and it's a very strong pick as well. Um, obviously, there's um, a lot of bands. <laughs> mm. at the Buzzwall moment. and Urshin, you think are in a very good position at the moment as well. Yeah, Buzzwall plays very well. Uh, Buzzwall, play, you know what? Buzzwall and the new Lapras play really well together as well. Mm. Oh, here we go. It's a Comfy and a Hooper, two support bands. Interesting. Very good picks, though. Very, very good picks. Okay, and on the first, we've got Pass Prize playing home. So you get the first pick of the bunch. And Justinian with the Espion, a very important pick there. And over on past... Over, sorry, over on um, Phil Polymath, um, we have got Tally and Samuel going for the Guadavar and the Blissing. Both teams locking in the healers right now. Feel a polyrap with the Blissey and with an Eldegoss. Yeah, EB Nerd, are your XP shares? Yeah, XP share I've seen a lot of, especially with the Eldegoss. Eldegoss, Eldegoss. There's a scope, a scope lens Dodrio. Interesting. And mm. Fish Dog playing his main as the uh, slow bro, something to watch out bro. for. Yeah, that is definitely dirty. on the Aegis Lash. Yeah, interesting. I don't think I've seen Gimlin Bits play Dojo. In fact, I don't think I've seen Past Price play Dojo, I don't think. And locking in there, Dark Paws and Curry with the Cinderace and the Absol. Nice pick. Some high damage on the Past Primates team. Um, however, I do feel that Fish Dog might be able to soak a lot of that up if he has the support mm -hmm. from Sammy. Some good heals from Blissey as well. Yeah. I think um, if, if uh, Fishdock can get those good heals off Blissey 
I have no qualms that he can hold his own. Um, I'd be interested to see how the Pikachu and the Elder yeah. and the Guardivar get on together. And we are just getting the final preparations in. I believe everyone's locked in. I'm testing. Alright. Yeah, Hooper Ban is crazy. I mean, I think I can't remember who plays Hooper on past Prime Mates team, but uh, it. Uh, oh. No, sorry, for a moment that I thought I crashed, but I haven't. <laughs> Here we go. So, over on. Uh, past Primates, we've got Justinian with the Cinderace, Giblin Bits with Espeon, DB Nerd with Elder Gods, and Dark Pals with Absol. Final and foremost is Curry with the Dodrio. We have Tally on Gardevoir, Sam on Bliss, Sligoo on Age Slash, Fish Dog on the Bro, and Hush as Pikachu. Three potions on the side, I feel like Polyrath. Interesting. Quite a tanky team. Yeah, and I think they're going to need it. They're going to need it with that Espeon damage yeah. as well as the Cinderace mm. and the Absol. They're going to be struggling. Not front... though. Yeah, there's not much front line no. on the team of primates. So in team fights, it should be quite interesting. Indeed. Ready, go. Okay, and starting off with the home team, it looks like. So we have got Dark Pods, who is not moving. Uh, we need to make sure that everything's all right with that. But we'll just wait out. It might have to be a restart if he doesn't move in the next few seconds. Ah, the game has been paused. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they just crashed. Um, yep. oh. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, we have just got a pause before, so I did pick it up. But we'll wait there um, okay. to see what happens. Let me know when it's all good oh, to go. Thanks. So, it does look like we're going to have the Absol and the Eevee go bottom with the Cinderace in the middle uh, for past primates. And up the top, we are going to be having the Dodrio and the Eldegoss, which is an interesting combo, especially for a Dodrio lane. Uh, what's your views on the Dodrio lane in top? Uh, I think it's good to, yeah. to lane with it. Um, it helps get level 5 as quick as possible, but obviously getting your stacks in is also very beneficial. Um, I believe Curry is double stacking as well. We completely restarted um, from past primate side. So I say that again, Dolly? Past primates just let us know that um, the game crashed during the draft pick, so they haven't got the right, uh, the team mates haven't got the right Pokemons. Um, can it be restarted? We'll do a re yeah, we'll yeah, do a restart. We'll do a restart. Thank yeah, you. Do a restart. Can you just let both teams know to pick exactly the same things, please? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, um, sorry about that, uh, ladies and gents. We're just having a pause there. Unfortunately, one of the past Primates members got DC'd from the game. In fact, the game completely crashed uh, right before the draft pick, so it caused a bit of an issue there. So we're just going to do a quick reset. Uh, nothing's going to change. All the bands will stay the same. All the Pokemon will stay the same. So there'll be no change they whatsoever. They can't, they can't stay the same if they were froze out during the pick phase because they didn't mean to pick my Pokemon. I was thinking the team was a bit weak. Like they had no yeah, defenders. apart from the one who crashed, yeah. Apart from those who crashed because they pack, crashed during the pick phase, so they couldn't pick, yeah. But everyone we'll else is the same. Yeah. We'll just wait for the uh, it to get uh, reset. Oh, just as I was getting really in, into them, we always have, there's always one hiccup. <laughs> always one. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, what we would. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just I'm wait. Dolly's jumps in with primates. That's fine. That's no worries. That's always. Um, what we would do, wait, we're going to just talk about quickly uh, about the game coming next between Kimiko and Fully Stacked. What a game that is going to be. It is the Titans facing off against each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Kimiko and Fully Stacked are no strangers to each other. They have played each other in tournaments way before they joined the PUCL. And they have well we know for a fact they have, that a they have a rivalry we know for a fact that there are members of each team that have swapped over <laughs> uh -huh. so it'll be interesting to see how there the might be a bit of bad blood there yeah be interesting to see how the former members um go against each other it'd be very interesting yeah. Yeah. um probably Hopefully. probably the game i'm looking forward to to the most is the kimiko and the, the fully stats uh clash as uh they 
both feel they are equal in like skill i'd say however yeah. their last battle between each other showed that fully stat was um more than a match for them shall we say as they mm. wiped them yeah. as a three nil so kimiko i'm sure are going to be coming back thinking we're going to get some points off them sorry guys just one more thing um because one of their teammates internet's completely dropped so they've had to bring another player in and they was asking if they can just redraft um that per that player can right no problem that, thank you that, very much that that one player can yeah if that person yeah it's fine thank you no worries yeah there's been a full dc um ladies and gents as uh you heard our background admin team dolly bless her she's working hard tonight um one of their team members has internet has completely died gone kaput so they are going to bring in a sub and so what will happen is that player who's coming in will be allowed to pick a mon but everyone else needs to stay the same um which is fair enough as fair as we can make it hopefully we won't be too much longer but considering their absol was their last pick even though it wasn't yeah. intentionally their last pick what if um philip alirath picked to counter the absol well it's not gonna be an absol anymore should, anymore it's not gonna be an absol is it so it's gonna be something different yeah um, no, but it's not fair if, if the other team can't repick. i personally would keep it the same because of the the, the team would be this because absol was the last pick so i said just do a full repick. i mean it's down to what you feel would be best fair if you want to do a full repick, we can do um i don't think there'd be much it's changes fair. anyway fair. Yeah, exactly. There won't be much change. It's fair for both teams then. Give them the option to. Give them the option to. However, I, I'll i be very surprised if there's any changes. Yeah, same same bands, but it's a redraft. Yeah, oh yeah, keep the bands. 100% of the bands need to stay the same. Yeah, that is a, that's a non, non-negotiable rule on the bands there. So, let me just go and tell them. Yeah, no worries. Uh, bear with us, um, everyone. Uh, we do apologise. You know, if you uh, if you are a fan of the PUCL, you will be well aware that games don't always go right, especially when we get DCs. It does happen, and we just got we just got to roll with it and work on the you know fly on the fly with it. Um, luckily, though, it doesn't happen too often. It, it's somebody us that have a technical issue. <laughs> it's on the stream that doesn't work. So, uh, for the, the fact that it's an actual team that has issues is. Uh, um yeah it's rare so yeah we do apologize to those watching and those who are new watching this doesn't happen very often so please don't go anywhere don't disappear we, we will be back very very shortly um as the teams do get together um so what i'm going to tell you though is what's been going on behind the scenes of the pucl so the pucl over the midweek break mid-season break we have been um trying to make things better, make things go a lot more smoother. And with that, have been talks of what's going to happen after season one. Now, not to give too much away because I want my fellow commentator, SPV, to be here when we do this announcement. But all I'll say is, is after game week 10, we will be holding an awards week. So it'll be a normal stream as we do today, but there will be awards handed out for certain things. And there is going to be a huge, huge announcement on that week. Uh, there may be some little teasers along the way, but on that week, the awards week, there is going to be some amazing reveals. And you do not want to miss it. Trust me, SPV has been working his bones off with what's to come. And I'm so excited to show you. I wish I could tell you now. I, I, I just want to tell you, but I can't. I have to hold it in. But fingers crossed all goes well we'll be able to reveal it in less than what in about a month's time we'll be able to reveal it all so fingers crossed i can't wait and um, along with that we've obviously like said, we've had a lot of changes with the teams uh we have seen uh, philip polyraf switching members out unfortunately savvy did leave philip polyraf due to personal reasons um however he was able to sort things out and kimiko basically saw an opportunity and drafted him and that went really well so savvy is now part of kimiko you may see quackany and some other names dotted in other teams that they weren't in previously uh, so i'll definitely keep an eye on team swaps throughout the season um how is everyone else i know we're on a two minute time delay but question to you all how is everyone else is everyone okay i hope you've had a great weekend and a great easter week 
Um, please uh, let us know how you've all been. I will respond in the chat as soon as I see it. Um, how are we getting on there, Daryl? Uh, we are ready. I'm just sending you the invite now. Thank you very much. And look at that. Just as I stopped waffling, we're ready to go. Um, okay, so, yep, it looks like it was... Who was it that went? He's gone. Oh, Justinian's still there. Give me a curry. And now it's Elgar. Elgar. Okay, uh, I'm ready when you are, mate. If you... Oh no, Gilly, Giggle Bits needs to give, <laughs> give needs to give us the leadership. I'll call you done it already. You you beat me to it. You beat me to it. <laughs> ah, and just that looks like Lupus is coming as well. Um <laughs> Love it. Lupus never misses a game. I'm quite surprised that baby kicked himself he had missed it. Come on, Giggleballs. Come on, Gigglemits. Come on, Giggles. Just literally waiting on now for the leadership to pass to admin and this game will be going. Um it looks like the game's going now. Okay, it looks like Gigglebits um must have started it. There we go. Pick the right one in the end. Okay, so we are now back in the band phase. Bands should stay the same. It should be a comfy and it should be a hooper. Um, fingers crossed it is the same. <laughs> I hope. Chai King, oh, I'm glad you've been well. Yeah, chilling, yeah. Best way to be sometimes. Yep, and the bands are the same. Whew. Okay, so he's just Justinian going first. So Justinian won't actually miss out on their pick, and they are going for the Espion. Does look a bit of a change here, though. Mm -hmm. Bit of a change there. Tally going the Elder Goss and Sammy going the Trev. However, oh, get, taking the slow oh. off fish. Now that is cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Gudra is banned. Gudra is not banned. Gudra is not banned. Nope. Gudra is unbanned and Zation is banned. Yeah, uh, it came out uh, yesterday or the day before that oh, it did. Yeah, Banded. Zation and Gudra were both unbanned, but due to the lateness of it, we gave that option to the teams. And the decision was made that they're happy for Gudra to be made available for this week, but Zation to be banned until next week. Yeah, the bug with Gudra was the uh, power whip. Yes, it was. Where it dragged people from all areas. But yeah. it was a skillful thing to do, to be fair. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't have an issue with it if you could do it fair play. And there we go. That looks like the team's going to be that. And uh, not much. There's a few differences with uh, past primates nicking the slow bro away from Fish Dog, which I'm sure is going to be raging. And it does look like Phil like Apollo have to go more def more tanky than last time. So that'll be interesting. Um, but everything else does look the same. Justinia has swapped out and they've gone Del Fox, swapping the SB with Giggle and Bits. So that's interesting. And there we go. Curry's changed his build. Uh, oh, yeah. Curry's gone for the attack weight, Razor Claw, and he's going for oh, no, Flowstone. Flowstone. Interesting. Okay, so here we go. This is the official teams, and we have got for past primates Justinian with Delphox, Giggling Bits playing Espeon, DB Nerd as Blissey, and Elgore as Slowbro, finishing off with Curry as Dodrio. And we have Tally on Eldegoss, Samuel Trevenant. Plugger on Age of Slash, Fishdog on Gudra, and Hush on Gardevoir. Interesting teams. Again, um... It's so hard not to call Hush's real name. <laughs> I know, Tom Reddit. Uh, Pass by mates, again, have gone for quite a lot of damage, and Philip probably has gone defensive again. Interesting. Ready, go! Okay, and we start off with the... Pass Primates. On the top lane, we have got the Dodrio with the Blissey. Down on the bottom lane, we have got the Slowbro with the Espeon. And going centre is the Delphox. Okay, and over on Phil Apollo, top lane, we have got the Guardivar and Trevenant. And bottom lane, we have got Eldegoss and the Gudra. Centre is going to be the Angie Slash. 
So looking here, both teams going in. Looks like both teams going in for early stacks up on the top lane. DB Nerd trying to hold off against Sammy's Trevenant with the stacks, but he's going in, ignoring DB Nerd. And at the bottom lane, yes, beyond him, slow bro, taking all of the farm. Fish dog just tipping over to four. Can't now secure an Espeon. No, Espeon at the moment, the secure and Espeon is disgusting. Okay, gone top. Yep, both jumped up top lane. Let's see what happens here. So Delphos gets a nice hit on the Guardivar there and put him down to a third health. But he does get a stack in. Nice, gets a stack in. And it looks like both Genius teams... Oh. Both teams very evenly matched, uh, going back and forth, getting the stacks in when they need it. Oh, God. Oh. Not in a good position there. <laughs> Angel Slash coming down now. Oh, Try to take the slow, bro. Oh, nice kill there from Giblin Bits. The yeah, so that's a brilliant kill there by Giblin Bits. Espeon. Espeon with the, the side shock and side. Oh, just, oh. just the attacks. Just. Yeah. Dodrio is in Slugger's jungle. Waiting for that last hit. Oh, he comes in. He, he takes yes, it. Oh and he takes gosh. out Slugger as well. Wow. Yep. Curry's taking no prisoners with that Dodrio right now. Yeah, Primate's in a very good position for the centre here. And it's gone already. Yeah, instantaneously gone. I didn't even get time to switch over. <laughs> Samuel's in a bad oh, position. Oh, Dodrio here. again! Down. Now he's, now he's, he's starting to punish now the Elder Gloss. He's just Elder Gloss is trying the best to get out of there, but no. Oh. Curry takes them out. Wow. Up on the top lane of the Top goal is down to 21. I wonder if they're going to... No, they're not going to break it just yet. Trying. They're trying. It's on 11. It's on 11. It's too bad if he does walk towards it. I mean, he passed primaries too. Well, I think they're going to they're try to get down as much as they can before hitting it. Fish dog staying bottom lane, ready for these birds at the bottom. Um, however, Justinian there with Delphox is in response. Uh, Tally with the Elder Gloss is supporting. Nine seconds to go. What rotations will we see? Samuel's still level four. Still a phantom. Oh, yeah. we took that. Okay, so it looks like both teams are going to head down to the bottom lane. However, they are taking their time. The Drio yeah. is actually staying, staying top lane, top. stopping them. Okay, Del Fox has initiated that just in the end. Um, now the team fight does commence here. Um, and Sigil goes down as Gable Bits with Espeon takes him out. Espeon again with the slow bro assist. Wow, and pushes feel our poly off back to their goal and they start wrecking on the Reggie Ice. Yeah, yeah Reggie Ice is gone. Uh, up on the top here, we have got a 40 stack going breaking. in by Curry. Yeah, oh. yeah it was. It oh, was very, very under level. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying that uh, okay, okay. Curry is just Curry is punishing him. He's just everywhere at the moment. Curry's just yeah. jumping about. If he's not in the jungle, he's in the top lane, pestering him up, up on the top lane. We've got the Trevenant that has started the Regilecki. They need to get this. He needs his team there with him, though. He does need his team there. Out. They are going to attack. He's, he's um, the front line. Oh, no. He's, he's not defending his. Nope. And he goes down. Um, yeah. Kudra is there. Regilecki on half health. And it is literally past primates to lose now. This. Reg oh, Regilecki now uh, returns and gets full health, which will be a godsend for past primates. As, uh, sorry, a godsend for um, Philippa yeah. for they can regroup. Unfortunately, if your defender is the one doing the objective while the rest of your team's fighting, there's something not quite right there. It does like Kui has been taken down by the Trevenant, I believe Big it was. Big kill by Sluggy there. Sluggy taking this out the Delphox. This is important now for Phil Alpore if they need to be pushed onto it. And it looks like they've stolen it, yes! Secure. That was a brilliant secure there by um, yeah. Tally as the Elder Gloss. And they get a good score here. They need it, they need the scores in. Nice, Sluggy oh, pushed them one back. Now it's a one over, don't oh. But it's going to put pressure. I know the overdub wasn't great, but looking out for one end, it is going to put pressure on past primates as they're now one goal less. Would be nice for the bear overdunk, but sometimes mm. you just got yeah, to break the goal. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see what happens here then. 
It does look a bit, a bit too much here. Yep. Unfortunately, fell apart, fell apart. We've got that team fight. A little oh. bit. Wow. Curry. Wow. <laughs> that was naughty. Curry coming in there. I've been farming up, giving them the bottom of Jack's here. Um, middle birds are up, and it looks like in Slowbro is uncontested right now, taking them all away. Um, it's I wouldn't say it's a walk in the park for past primates, as there is only a hundred and what fourteen points in it, so easily turn, yeah, easily turnable. There's a big level discrepancy though. They have two levels on the entire team. Yeah, that is true. Um, so you're looking at the Dodrio with a level twelve, Espion thirteen. And the only mm -hmm. highest is the uh, Angel Slash on 12. So, yeah, there is yeah, a big difference. 9, 11, and 12. There's a big difference going on right now. Um, looks like just farming's going on right now. Getting ready for his top lane at Reggie. Um, a little bit of a push bottom going. Nothing really happening, though. A defender and a supporter pushing against a defender and a supporter. Yeah, that would just be taste testing them, playing a little bit of tit for tat. Um, yeah, nothing really, but five seconds and the top Reggie is going to be up. And it looks like Philip Poyoff are going to push on. They're in a very aggressive position there. Yeah, they pushed yep. him right back, but are they doing that to allow for the Angel Slash to try and wreck it? That is the thing, though. Trevenant is holding the three back, the Espion and the Delphi. He goes down. No, Joe oh, comes in and... Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful steal. Unfortunate for Philip Poyoff because that would have been a... I saw the play, and yeah, it was, in, in hindsight, the idea and the play would have worked, but yeah, it's... I think they're all going to run bottom now. Yep. Yeah, they're going to let Look that travel. Bottom. Oh, nobody's gone bottom. Nobody's gone bottom. This is going to be dangerous. Oh, no. It looks like the points are going to be... No. I thought they might have dunk some points in, but they're not. Five seconds yeah. until bottom reg is up, and they can do it. The Del Fox and the Espy, they can completely destroy that. Up on the top lane, you've got Sliggy who's going in for 50. Don't can he get never it in? Getting a, no. He's never no. getting a 50 in that. No. Um, he does try and escape, but he is in a bad position right now as the Dodrio yep. is going to. Yeah, Dodrio comes in, slow over the surf, and he is down. However, the Kevin is down as well. Pushes on one HP, the Unite takes him down. Three down for Feel our Polyrath. And they've started it. And they've got half HP. Unless now the LD can come in and take a steal. No, it's gone. Too late. The LD was too late there with this all to try and get in. Unfortunate for Phil Um However, you have got the LD who's now at the bottom here going to drop a 40. That's a nice big dunk at the bottom there. But will it be enough? I don't think it will be. Okay, um, the oh, shield's shield gone just got down. broken. Yeah, Curry shields up and DB Nerds, Blissey's shields are still up, but I mean the 200 points ahead, it's it's yeah 300 points ahead now. It's pretty much an impossibility for Phil Apollo to come back from that, but it's only one game. We've still got two games to go. Oh, Sam's gonna get his score in there. Should have waited for um, his team. Okay. Oh, he's back to full HP though. He's fighting back. However, he is against an Espion and a Slowbro. I don't think it's going to work out well so for him. Damage. Yeah, and he goes down. <coughs> I think for me, in. I think for me, M uh, MVP for this first match is definitely going to go to uh, Curry as the Dodrio. Um, yeah. Just wow, some amazing gameplay there. I think we feel like Holly Raff were very split as a team. They weren't as tight as a team. Yeah, they were split unfortunately but it's a good learning curve for them and they can hopefully come back with some better plan for next game yeah points wise it was reasonably close like we've seen much yeah. bigger score differences oh god yeah it's a very, it's a very one sided match and there we go we go to game one two feel our polygraph amazing to fast oh my god i'm gonna get them so mixed up pass my win the first game and feel our polygraph are one down. Okay, so yeah, past primates win with 542. 
and fill up highly off. With a respectable 286, it wasn't by any means a walk in a park, but that the trio by Curry, they were just all over the place, yeah. and I think Fop struggled just to contain him. Yeah, so they're going to try to back cap at the race. Like, it wasn't the smartest idea either. And just a quick look at the stats there. Yeah, Curry there with the 84k. Just in there with the 92k. Some impressive damage over on the past Primates team. Um, Samuel, though, with the Trevenant with some respectable damage taken and recovery. Um, some impressive stats there from them. Be interested to see how we move forward from this um, as we go into game two. Whew, interesting. That was... Um, Oh, thank you, Mr. Lupus, for that. What do you reckon then, as we go into the second round, do you reckon past primates have got that momentum and they're going to carry on with it? Or do you reckon Fiat Polyf can pull something out of the bag? I think, I think they have a slight edge technically over them. Um, but I do believe in Pokemon United, as we all know, anybody can win. Yeah, that is what, very... One over, one over, because it's such a team-focused game, one over extension one mistake can lead to your entire team losing if it happens in the right oh, time frame. 100%. And that Ray, it can turn the battle on yeah, like that. It can just go straight yeah. away. Um, before you know it, you you know, you've... Uh... So so many, so many things. Yeah. Even a good jungle invade. Yeah. can hold the first three minutes of gameplay. 100%, yeah. It'd be interesting to see where... Um... Interesting to see what bands come in. I'm probably going to say either a Dodri or Espeon band going to come in. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. It's actually a slow bro band. Slow bro is in a very good place right now. Yeah, uh, slow bro is. Um, a lot of people have I've seen in the forums of slow bro is in a very like S tier type category at the moment. So is Blastoise as well. Blastoise uh, is doing very well in um, Unite at the moment. Yeah, the meta's gone very uh, physical all of a sudden. Rather uh, than a special attack we've had for a very long time. I mean, Espeon and obviously characters like Delphox, Gardevoir, they always do well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen Espeon not do well. I mean, you play this game a lot longer than me. Has there been a time where Espeon hasn't been, like, a goated mon in the game? Did you hear about the uh, the new release of a new leaked Pokemon? Um, it depends what you're on about. Are you on about the Leafeon? I am on about Leafeon. Yes. Um, interesting. Yes, I'm a bit disappointed in the fact it's going to be um, a speed stuff ink, isn't it? Is there a speed to the put guns? It is a speed step, but you are going to have a full fire team of Eevees soon. Well, yeah, true. I was I was hoping for a support. Now, whether they're going to bring it, because there's obviously rumours that Vaporeon might be Vaporeon. the fifth. Yeah, and if Vaporeon does come in as a fifth Mon, fifth Evolution, that could maybe take the support. Um, but yeah, uh, it'd be interesting to see. I can definitely see the memes coming in. As uh, soon as Leafeon makes a drop, and we're able to do a four-way evolution take on, on the games. Um, it's cool. we'll, we're going to have Glaceon, Espeon, Sylveon, Umbreon, and Leafeon. Oh well, yes, oh yeah, five, weren't you? With that, yeah, yeah, God, yeah. I, I completely forgot. Umbreon's coming out. Um... Umbreon is defender. Yeah, when, when are they due to come out, they're due to come out very shortly, aren't they? Uh, beginning of next month, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I know uh, SPV is extremely excited for Umbion to come out. Yeah, um, so I have seen some... the entire game. Oh, 100%. 100%. It, has a, it has a move that's basically a snare, so you throw it on top of somebody and you can't escape out of the ring. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I've if you're that. chasing someone down like a decidui, you just trap it inside your ring and your entire team kill it. That's going to be interesting. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that works its way into team comps. Uh, Physical attack as well, so you can use attack weight on it. <laughs> oh, get those stacks on. <laughs> oh, what, stacks. so what? What would you personally pair that? Up? Obviously, with it being a defender, who would you pair that up with? An Espeon? In what sense? Like, so if you would go, to, let, obviously it's a laner. So uh -huh. I don't know, say if you went top lane with it, and I don't know what lane it's going to go in. But say if you went top lane, who would you want to partner with it? Uh, I think Espeon would do well with it. Yeah, 
because your gun's going to be front and center. Yeah. And um, your gun's going to be hitting from range, get the last hits on Wild Farm. Yeah, that's very true. Especially if Espion... Usually, you have, a, so usually you have a defender and attacker bottom and a healer and a all around the top. Somebody can get the stacks in top. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh, I mean, if, if uh, Espion keeps its um, stats and doesn't get nerfed, then that would be a disgusting yeah, combo. It has to. Yeah, but you're, you're saying that the Blastoise, the same Blastoise is a nerf, Slowbrone is a nerf, and we know they don't nerf all of them at once. <laughs> So it'd be just, who do you think, uh, oh, who do you think really needs a buff? Dragonite. Dragonite. Dragonite no. needs a buff. Yeah, that that's because I'm I'm biased because I play Dragonite. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I want Dragonite to get better. No, um, who needs a buff? Um, you know what? I don't see a lot of mammos recently in any games. I don't know yeah, whether I don't know whether that's because mammos just not meta anymore or I think, yeah, I think with the introduction of Gudra as well people are playing that as a defender more and obviously yeah. Trevenant's been in a really good spot recently I'd tell you someone who hasn't had uh, had much love is Talonflame yeah Talonflame fair Talonflame got quite a lot of play in the AOS Cup though yeah but I, just, I don't know I don't know what it is with it with uh, Talon it just seems just to I don't know you have to be I think it's you got to be really good with it P uh Pathfinder had a crash once everyone's loaded, that's no dramas. Thank you very much, Dolly, for letting us know that. Um Yeah, what okay, so see so now we've got you here, Dal. If you could have your ideal Pokemon put into your night, could you tell me what yep. that would be? What you reckon its type would be, speedster, defender, all rounder, and just give yeah, give us a bit of a load on what you'd like to see and how you'd like to see introduced. On my favourite Pokemon or a Pokemon that I think would do well. So I'd like to see Toxapex as a defender. Okay. Um, spraying like toxic poison on the ground so that it slows your enemies and does like damage over time. Nice. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I think I've heard. I think I've heard someone else mention that as well. It was it was rumoured like last year, but nothing ever came. So fruition with it. That's a shame. Uh, who else would I like to see? I'd like to see some more starters. Okay, yeah. Maybe like, maybe yeah. like Blaziken. Um, Swampert. Yeah. Sceptile. Yeah. Like a few more three-stage evolutions, because we've not had many three-stage evolutions introduced. No, there's only, there's only like a handful in there, three-stage evolutions actually in the game. There is now. Yeah. Uh, for when it, when it first came out, the majority of them were. Right. Because they wrote out that it wasn't. Dragapult. What's the three stage evolution they brought out? Um, Gudra's now a three stage evolution. Gudra, yeah. Dragonite. Yeah, Dragonite. Snake Boy. Snake. <laughs> snake. Snake, snake, snake. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm happy. With, I mean, I know you, you've had yet, you've yet to experience Lapras. Um, I love Lapras. Lapras um, that's been released is, I love it. It is. I, I don't know what it is. I, I, I like what they've done with it. It seems. I like the uh, Perish song. Is it Perish song? Pearl song. Pearl song. I think it is. That is a disgusting move against tanks. Um, if you've got someone who can... Uh, it's basically like a Tyranitar's ult, basically, but as a normal move. <laughs> it's great. Get their health down, blow that bar, boom, they're gone. And then obviously uh, there's big debate whether that's be Bebel or better or the opposite move. Um, but yeah, I, I do like Lapras. Lapras for me is uh, probably one of my favourite defenders. Uh, that yes. and... Yeah, I'd say that and Slowbro are my favourite defenders, I'd say. So Lupus has made a very good point. So he does need a buff is Zeraora. So Zeraora still gets level spikes at level twelve and fourteen. Okay. Which makes no sense. And you'll lose his moves later. That's quite high, level twelve. <laughs> yeah. That's level fourteen to get discharge plus. Wow. Yeah, that's um Do you reckon he's just been over overlooked? <laughs> that, that... Massively, yeah. 
because that's like that's surely that's like a mechanic error that now like I'm, with pretty, the sure, I'm pretty sure at one point he didn't get his United move to level ten. Right. I'm sure when I'm sure when he first came out, he got his United move way later than everybody else. Interesting. And I think actually we've just got the final member of past primates in the lobby. Um, we're just going to get a quick thumbs up and we will hit this game too. Uh, again, sorry everyone for the delay. Do apologise. Um, past primates are having a few connectivity issues Temporary. right now. Okay, so let's get going. I don't know who's got lead. I think it's you. It's me. It's you. It's me. Sweet. So we have Comfy and Hooper carrying over from last game. Yes, we do. Yeah. Let's see what bands get added on to that. Be interesting to see also uh, what comps they change up, especially if Phil have probably they can do anything different. Um, mm. I think Fish Dog's going to be wanting that, bro. Oh, Dodrio goes and the Trevenant goes. Oh. Ah, oh, Tallis instantly with the take of the Espion there. I do not blame them one bit. However, Justinian is, looks like they're going to go for the Blastoise, which is a good pick. Blastoise is really good at the moment, as we have said earlier. Oh, no, sorry, that's changed my mind. He's gone for slow, bro. Yeah, I thought they were going to go for Blastoise, but they changed it at the last moment. Um, DB Nerds going for the Mew, Samuel the Blissey, and Hush with the Guadva. Guadva. I don't think was Blastoise's band. Blastoise is banned, yes. Or decidual, We've got so it? many bands, it's so hard to keep up with what is banned or what's not. <laughs> Zarowark. Ooh. Have we seen a Zarowark in the PUCL yet? We've not seen a Zarowark, I don't think. No. Ooh. It's the first... Oh, no, we have. We have. Wait. Um, Tommy used to play Zarowark. You know what he did. Right. Sligo going back again for his Angie Slash. Fishdog picking a different defender. I don't think I've ever seen Fishdog play a Snorlax. That's interesting. He started um, appreciating it more after watching the AOS Cup. The Snorlax was probably the best defender. Right, okay. Well, a, yeah, Snor makes... a Snorlax paired with an Eldegoss was doing crazy stuff in the game. Really? Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to watch the AOS Cup. I was, uh, I've had my kids over for the Easter, so I've been... Uh, I've been on parenting duty over the time, so unfortunately I've not had the time to do watch the AOS Cup, but it will be something I will rewatch. Um I'm sure. I've been in week. bed ill for the past two days, so I've plenty of time to watch. <laughs> oh, I envy you. Envy you. <laughs> okay, we're into final preparation now. I don't think it's gonna take too much longer as the teams are pretty much locked in. Um and hopefully we get this game number two on the go for this matchup between Past primates and fill up polygraph. Okay, so we have got Tally playing Espion, Sammy playing Blissey, Hush playing Guardiver, and Fish Dog playing Snorlax, and finish off with Silgo who is playing Angie Slash. And we have Justin in on Delphox, DB Nerd with the Elder Ghost, Gibble and Bits playing Mew, Allegio playing Slowbro, and Corian Zoroark. Very different teams. Zarak being played. Yeah, very different teams. Zarak to... uh, count, counters Espion very well. Yeah, I know Zarak's uh, pretty if interesting. Misses, if Espion misses his side shot and he put Dove on top of, he's in a bad position. Yeah. Okay, starting back. off with Phil Apolyaf, we have got the SB and the Snorlax going bottom lane. In the middle lane, we have got the Angel Slash up top, Guadvar and Blissey. And playing over on past primates on the top lane, we have got Koi with the Zoroark on their own. Down the bottom, we have got the S Slowbro and the Mew. It looks like Elder Goss. Yeah, we had, yeah, the Elder Goss went into the jungle to get the red buff, but because they have a, has XP share on, um, yes. the jungle still gets the XP from it. But Elder Goss with a red buff on top lane is very, very strong. That's a really good play there. I'm glad you said that because I wouldn't have had a clue what they were doing then. <laughs> Uh, both teams playing a very nice thing uh, safely at the moment. Just getting up that initial first minute farm. Um, looks like... Yeah, still like still an ass behind the second all the yeah. last hits down bottom. Both junglers going top lane and 
It'll be interesting to see who makes the first move. Angie Slash goes in for the first move on the Elder Goss. Elder Goss manages just to get away just by the skin of the teeth. Um, Silgu does make the escape, but it looks like Husher's Guard of Art does get taken down. Uh, mid birds up and pass primates do take yeah. all of them. Yeah, pass from top lane does take majority of the farm. Um, though it does that on the bottom lane. Fish dog, oh, been pushed away. Fish dog is dominating that bottom lane with his Snorlax, pushing him away, allowing the yeah. Espeon to get a nice cheeky 18 Duncan and a 21 oh, in there. Nice. Interesting, interesting play. 20 seconds till middle birds do arrive. Um, trying to see what's going on. Everyone's gone back to the lanes. Um, nothing really to report at the moment. Del Fox is coming. No, what's up? Tally just got a, uh, an eject button side shock off then to kill the slow bro. Or the slow poke, should I say. Still stuck at level 3 because of the XP share. Middle farm's gone up, and the middle farm's gone as soon as it comes up. Uh, a little bit of a yep. battle going Garrett on, nothing major. Oh, you is very close here. Eldegoss goes down, um, so does the Delphox. That goes down, and the Zorox being chased down by the Snorlax. Snorlax leaves him to it What's as the Zorox does run away. I'd like to see both teams gathering together, but there is still the farm top line. It does look like at the moment that bottom lane is doing really well, which is carrying Phil Apart off at the moment. Uh, it does look like past primes can't get past into the goal to get those points in, but they are dominating the team fight and the secure on the farm. Again, take out the top, Zorok and the Slowbro, taking it all away. Um, nice. Jungle is just going back to get their buffs before they go for the first objective. Full team rotation happening. Yep, full team Holy rotation. Jungle is is still up though, which means Sligo is not going to be level 9. Nope, he's just got to level 8. And obviously Delphox being there, jungle already gets the Unite move oh, level 8. Sligo takes on the Slowbro, just to keep him Here away. Angie Slash is taken down. down. Big Unite move for Tally there, but he's on his own. Yeah, he gets Throws taken out. Under. Defenders. Oh, go on, fish dog, fish dog, push him three, four of them back into the own lane, yep. keep him firmly away from no that man's, bottom. No man's land now, though. <sighs> Brilliant play there, fish dog, and he managed to get away. Oh. oh, he didn't get away. Was right, oh, that down. was unlucky. That was some brilliant play there by fish dog. Yeah, Muse Beast Dog will do more damage the further away you are, so as he's running, he'll do the damage. <laughs> yeah. Can they get this? Does he get a steal? No, Mew oh, gets a steal. Unlucky. That was a lucky Silgu there with the Espeon. Unfortunately, it was a little bit yep, too again, late. The team, the team are very split. Yeah. It was unfortunate. I'm just going to take out one by one. Oh, it's all right. Mr. Unite moves there. Good <laughs> positioning by Tally. Tally just needs to run home. Run yeah. home, well, Espeon. That was. Um... Fish Dog do some amazing play there with Snorlax pushing the team away. But unfortunately, like I say, he didn't have the support, which allow them to uh, eventually secure that bottom objective. Yeah, Fish Dog's on his own here, but he's running. He's running. <laughs> he's running. <laughs> Come on. His Hawaiian shirt. Love it. Top lane have almost got Regilecki halfway down, but the opposite team. Right, coming in though. Oh, no, it's all right. Takes the farm instead. Oh, that great was steal there. Yeah, nice Unite move on that. That Unite came in at the perfect time. That definitely firmly puts... Big solar beam from you. That puts Phil Apollo firmly on the back foot now when they did initially have the advantage. Wow. That's a full team wipe. Oh, here he comes. Snorlax comes in, but he's on his own. Oh, poor overdunk. And yeah, he gets taken down. <laughs> he's still going to be able to score. That's a big United. Yeah, Snorlax. Snorlax Unite as well. But. Three of them managed to escape. Yep. Good push, though. Good push and good escape. Well, as Arg was trying to get some of the farm, and he does actually claim most of that farm, actually. Some nice heals there from DB Nerd. Nice. Bottom objective coming up in 15. Yeah, up on the top line, you've got uh, the Angie Slash and the Blissey, but the Slowbro is there to stop them from making any headway. Down the bottom, what's going on? You still got the Zoroark, Mew, and Elder Gloss trio causing some serious uh, disruption down there. Uh, Fish Dog just he wants to move straight away. Yeah, he wants to move forward, but not a chance. Can he get there? 
I don't know if they can. Del Fox is on it. Blissey goes straight and ignoring the team. Puts in the egg bomb. But it is going to be too late, I think. Yeah, Mew comes in. Del Fox so again. Slow on that. that is the Mew Solomon that got it. Yeah, I thought it was Del Fox that got it. This dog was waiting eternity to get that heavy slam. Big United by Tally. Well played, Tally. Ooh, That was good. And it has Good put them. Face, oh, face, you gonna know? oh, so good. I've extended and he's on no man's hand. Oh, it takes him though. Oh, nice looking. United, three, that was a lucky. And that's nice. That is what they needed. Get those ducks in. Smart. Get that 40 in. There's a 50 there. I know. Why is that 50 not gone in yet? One for a just score. Slug who just score. Slug who tries to escape. Uh, up on the top, though, uh, they are under uncontested. Esme does come in. Um, is he going to wait? I don't know what's going to happen here. Just watch yeah. now. Yeah, he gets taken down. Uh, Angel Slash comes yeah, up. Where is he going to go? Yeah, it's oh, gone. So Slowbro dunking a 37 down the bottom. Up on the top here. Yep, take, Angel Slash takes out the Zoark. Mm, Fish Dog used his Unite there, though. 240. Three United, four United moves down, so I feel like Polyra. How many Unites has Delphox done now? Delphox gets about seven a game. So to say, she's used a fair few there. Mm -hmm. Well, she used it then at 2 4, yeah. I can guarantee she's got like a two. She just took that blue buff as well. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, Mew's got the blue. No, so Justinian's got the blue buff. Delphox. Again, very under leveled on the side of uh, I feel like Polyraph. Uh, it looks like still good. The Angie stash of 13, which match, almost matches our highest. But yeah, um, past primates do have the upper hand on levels. They need this. Feel like Polyraph need this. I'm going to watch the Zorak here because Zorak doesn't usually do very well in team fights. Slowbro's gone in with a Del Fox. Mm -hmm. No, they're just playing, just playing a bit of. Tiff Tack get waiting for the team to come in. Oh, the Espeon's down already. Yeah, I saw that. Fish Dog goes in trying to push them all away. Doesn't yeah. really. He kind of got himself in a bit of a pickle there. Well, the Garden Ball United hit nobody as well. Oh, Fish Dog's on his own. He's got oh, five of them on him. Team wide. Oh, team and wide. he's gone. The only one that's left is Silgu. Silgu, yeah, but he's, he's not going to. No, he's going to be hunted down. Yeah, he's hunted down. That will give. S1 not no, I thought everyone could have got there in time. Unlucky. Might be able to break some shields though. Nope. No. There you go, there goes hundred in at the top. Down the bottom, you've got DB Nerd coming in. And he's smacking the hundred there. Zorok comes in with another 84. And that is pretty much game. And then 49. Relentless. I know the two defenders are having a bit of a battle here the slow bro and the Snorlax. Um, he's now oh, taking on the meal as well it. and he goes down. Is this where we're going to stop him? No. Oh, he ejected for it as well. And in comes. So, so, yeah, he's go got his, it comes 100 in as well. Boom. Another 100 from the Aldergoss. Look at wow. shield. Yeah. And that does mean that. Past primates do win at this game against Phil and Polyraph on a two win. However, it is not over. Uh, Phil and Polyraph can still get a point back if they win in the third and final game. Wow, that was a great game. Uh, I feel like Polyraph started off quite strong, I thought, um, and we're actually not doing too bad right in the first beginning of that game. Uh, but past primates just steamrolled towards, you know, what, from two thirds, of, what was it, one third in, straight in, boom. Yeah, they pretty much dominated the entire match. I think uh, the Espeon and Snorlax uh, had a pretty good early game. But again, they weren't fighting as a team. Um, yeah, just wow. bad decisions. Curry there, smashing the 100k mark for the damage dealt. The, the Zor Zor uh, 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 Zorora. Zorok. And if we just quickly look at the graph, 
Um, yeah, so it was. Phil Polymath were in the lead right up to the fourth minute. And from the fourth minute, past Prime Apes, boom, objective, objective. And then the re object, uh, the middle requires objective, boom, took them up to a thousand points. Goal points taken. Amazing. Let's quick look on that. There we go. Whew. All to play for, though. Still all to play for. Uh, Philip Poirot can still get a point. They need the point. Uh, Gold Ducks are now automatically got three points, and they do go above Philip Poirot. Do drop into fifth place, unfortunately. Um, And I'll just say to our viewers, what do you make of that? 2-0 to pass Primates. Uh, moving into the third and final match, what do you reckon? Do you reckon they're going to take a 3-0 victory? Or do you reckon Villa Polyraf can redeem some kind of honour and gain that last point? Be just to see your thoughts. So the current game week seven bands, as Dolly has said, we have got Dacian, uh, <laughs> Camerant, Clefable, Blastoise, Glacian, and Lapras. Uh, they are all bands that have come through um, uh, MathCord, and that's who we use as our reference points. And the bands we've had so far in games are Comfy and Hooper, Dojo and Trevenant. Yes. Expecting an SBM band in this last game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and also Zacian. Don't forget Zacian on that, Dolly. <laughs> Yeah, um, the field is slowly becoming smaller as you go into this third game. I mean, that's what that is now. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. That's like 12 bands. That's 12 mons that are out of uh, out of use. So, be interesting there to see. There is a roster of nearly 50, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, and ever-growing. As we know, ever-growing. Um, how are we looking on... everyone in yes we are okay i think we're just going to dive straight into it let's go game three game three let's go so bands for this is going to be interesting okay i'm calling an espion ban it'll be silly for them not to have an espion ban But if you are banning something, you're also taking it away from your own team. So, there is that. Yeah, that's true. There you go. Espeon and Age Slash. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know the, yeah, the Age Slash is trying to take that away from Silgo because uh, Sligo is uh, using that. Like, he's quite effective with that. And it looks like, yeah, Justinian goes in and takes a bro away from Fishdog yet again. Fishdog will be raging that he's not been able to play his main. Uh, over on Phila Polyraf, we have got Telki with the Deuce UI and the Sammy with the Charizard. Good pick. Charizard has been buffed and is actually quite effective in this current meta. Mm -hmm. Definitely is. Uh, Giggling Bits with the Mew. Again, did some amazing gameplay last game. So, yeah, I can see that happening again. Demon Nerd taking the Blissey. Blissey takes taken on to the past primates team. I'm expecting an Elder Goss. Okay, Mamo coming in with uh, Sligu and Fishdog with the Snorlax. He played really well with Snorlax. Um, I just felt that maybe just overextended a bit too well. Not so much overextending, just didn't have the support when he was using you know, the barrier and pushing him back. Um, yeah, Curry. Oh, that's going to be disgusting. It's He got over 100k damage with uh, with it last, time, uh, last game, so... Whew. Yeah, we didn't really have an answer to it. No. Unfortunately. However... Fopper gone for the Delphox. No supporter at the time of uh, the team of Philip Polyraph. Yeah, I think this time, I think it's all or nothing, isn't it? Uh, Philip Polyraph have just got to go in and go, you know what? We'll go for... Let's hammer them. Yeah, let's <laughs> go with much damage and much secure, because with the decision why you've got that range for the secure. Uh, obviously, Delphox, you saw the secure is amazing. The ults, the amount of ults they have, um, it's great. 
Um, but it doesn't see if Fishdog is able to get any heavy slams uh, in for any steals, because obviously that's a really good move for stealing. Yeah, if he, if, he was a bit hesitant in the last game. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, all to play for still, like I say, even though it's a 2-0 to uh, pass Planets, this can, you know, in fill up life. Need this point to keep in the race between them them and Golducks. Okay, so starting off on past Planet's third and final game tonight, we've got Justinian as Venusaur, Giblin Bits as Mew, DB Nerd as Blissey, and Elgor as Slowbro, if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong, I apologise, and Curry as Zorok. Okay, and over on uh, Black Polygraph, we have got Talia's as Sidiwai, Sam as Charizard, Sligu as Mama Swine, Fishdog as Snorlax, and Hush as a Delphox. Uh, Again, very, very different teams uh, swapping around. So it'll be interesting to see how these differences come into play. Ready, go. Okay, and for the third and final time tonight with past primates, we have got a pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> Um, I'm sure we'll get a notification as to why in a minute. Normally, Donny sneaks into the uh, the chat now and goes, "Guys." <laughs> so we'll see how long this pause goes on for. Okay, the game has resumed. So, back on what I was saying, for the third and final time, up on the top lane for past families, we have got Zarak and Blissey. Over on the bottom lane, we have got the Slowbro and the Mew and the Venusaur taking up the middle. Over on Phil Polyraph, we have got the Mama Swine and the Del Fox heading in the centre. We have got the Sidui, and down bottom, we have Don't got Snorlax and Charizard. Um, yeah, points are going in straight off the bat. Uh, no surprise there as they probably are stacking. Uh, Sligu going in for another cheeky dunk there. Nicely Who's done. That? And um, Cinderace doing nicely there to hold him back. Oh, he doesn't get the third. No, he doesn't get it, unfortunately. Zorok has got his level five. That does put him on back foot, but Decidueye has come up to help. He so. doesn't have a level five. No. Ivysaur coming in. Oof, yeah. Yeah, Phil Apoff again are uh, starting to come under level on that top lane very quickly. Um, they need to see what they can do to respond to that. Uh, both junglers are holding off as the birds come up and the birds go straight away. I think um. that went to past primates, I think. Enjoy to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is right, amazing with those poke damage, just like firing off those. Uh, those shots and it looks like he's going back to his jungle. He's going jungle. Zarok's coming in. He's coming in behind Decidueye and he's chasing him down. He missed. He missed. Oh, he missed. But Slowbro's come up Damn. as well to stop him. Charles are coming in to respond. Oh, no way. Oh, Slowbro takes them both that was out. Charles and the Decidueye are both down and out. Oh, wow. Slowbro with a quad. Quad. He's chasing down fish, but no leads him to it. Mamo Swine gets another stack in at the top there. Wow, that was uh, that was interesting. Uh, Patch Primates take all those birds, essential birds, easy, no questions asked there. Mamo has now got two v one because he got them three because he got them three kills yeah. then. Yeah. He's nearly a higher level than the rest of the stars, even now. Now. Yeah, we do know that that slow bro is amazing for holding the ground and wow some great play yeah, yeah, his XP share wouldn't have worked because he would have been a higher level than the team that is <laughs> oh yeah yeah he's running XP share isn't he uh -huh. Justinian uh, deep into fill up Poirot's zone but manages to get away eject point out Gimlin Bits uses a solar beam to kind of just cover his retreat um, up on the top lane then looks like they're chasing down the Delphox the Delphox nope Delphox gets away. I thought I might have been trying to take him out. Here comes the slow bro. 
and a team fight for bottom Reggie commences. Uh, it does look like Pathfinder's got the upper hand. Uh, Snorlax oh, wow. gets taken down. No, I just nodded him. Yeah. Three. And he, yeah, in comes Wow. There we go. He might. That slow bro is causing a feel out for some around. problems. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Not messing around at all. First Reggie Steel goes over to Prime Apes. Yeah, and uh, right, yeah, nightly so. They just did that amazingly well. Um, Not sure why I think I've taken the blue buff, but birds in centre have gone to PP or half my mate, shall I say, and Philippoli after taking the time, uh, they've just allowed uh, Pathfinders to join them in that top there for the Reggie fight. Um, <laughs> there's a yeah. Slowbro again. Slowbro back in the mix. It's caused a bit of nuisance, and he ults the Charizard. Charizard gets ult, and Charizard shot. gets taken down. Whoa! The ult comes in and takes two of them down. What an amazing combination there. Slow, slow nice. goes down, and wow. What a combination. And I think we're going to say goodbye. Yeah, well, that was a 20 over dunk. Yeah. Wow, that was... Oh, that's a big, that's a big Electro Ball. Sega, I would just enjoy that. Wow, I'm just... I... Oh my, told me just half health everybody. Yeah, they're just feeding at the moment. Yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> Past primates are becoming this... If I were feeling feel like Polygraph now, I'd just be in the bottom lane just taking farm. Because if you rush and try and defend this, you're all going to die. Oh yeah, 100%. And we're just, ladies and gents, just watching the scenes unfold here past primates. Even though the onslaught of Philip Pyth keeps keep coming in, it's like a, it's like a wave hitting a brick wall. Um, just there's carnage everywhere. <laughs> Pure carnage everywhere. Still alive. Wow. The jungle's been stolen right now. Two solar beams. That's horrible. Yeah, uh, solar beam is annoying at the best of times, but to have two of them. <laughs> oh, wow, oh. I'm stacking on top of each other. Fish, fish dog, to face is that. There's one solar beam going down, and I'm sure another one's going to come in in a minute. Yep. Oh, yep. the range on that. So <laughs> oh, it, having two solar beams, it's almost, it's like never ending solar beams. Big Unite. Oh, wow, there's a big Unite into a solar beam there. Lots of damage. Oh, another solar beam. I get a bit taken out of And another solar beam going on. What is going on here? Whew. My Charizard not used his Unite. Why did he not use his Unite move then? Oh, he didn't have it. Um, No, he's only just got it, hasn't he? There's a Mew down. Yeah, Mew's down, but so is Delphox. Nice solar beam. These solar beams are on point by the Venusaur and the Mew. Just, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Sligo goes down and... They do. Oh, just a little lucky there. We went too soon and the Skull was too soon as well. Got to do an auto attack. We finally get a first objective though, which is uh, needed. <laughs> Nice bit of XP, bit of shield. Now, the it looks like the Phil Alpha are holding them down while the uh, Delphox and the Mammo go up. So much damage. Yeah. Charizard's in the air. Oh, he's been caught. Slowbro caught with Charizard. Charizard's doing bits though, he's holding them back, allowing Phil Alpha to get that top Regileke, which they have mm -hmm. got. That is massive, they need that. Oh dear, it's on a 16 now. It's going to walk in and break for four. Oh, oh. bad play. Should have got it in. But I would say good play though from Phil Apollyraf to get the objective, both objectives. Um, Decidio is very lucky on that bottom objective. And a good play there by the Charizard holding majority of past primates down in the centre, allowing the Delphox and the Mamo to do some bits on that top yeah. Reggie. So yes, yeah, oh, well. great play. Was it worth it for a four score? Well, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, was, was it worth it? No, I suppose not. <laughs> In hindsight, looking that way, no. But. Not with the Venusaur's level 14 now, with solar beams every four seconds. With the Mew doing solar beam as well. Yep. 
We were sold here in five seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, looks like team fight's happening at the bottom here. No, it's moving back up into centre. Um, he needs to be careful. Oh, we to... Desperately, they need to start this. Yeah. Charles should be hitting him. Charles on, yeah, go on, chase him down, chase him down. That's it. Charles takes down the dog. Oh. Not hitting it. Oh, the, the, we're just going to fight with the team. That was... Ruben's in the front line. And Sluggo's in the back. Yeah, well... They're just not fighting in the team. Unfortunately, when you, yeah, they're gonna have to count that Mew and that Venusaur because those solar beams are just no, back and forward. Diving into their flux zone isn't the right answer. Oh, no, that, that, no, that as well is not. Yeah, so Joy's got the right idea. Just start. So the, there's a chance now for uh, Fairport to actually still get this, but that goes down to the right corner. No, they're not gonna get it now. Both there's two team members alive. Both two defenders. Unless they can pull something out of the bag here and hold it off, I don't... Nope. Sluggo's like hiding. Rayquaza's going to start healing soon. I mean, that's good for yeah, past go. primates, Rayquaza. yeah. Good defensive play, good patience. I like how they're just holding it off and not going for it. Okay, sorry, man. You were so close to getting him. Oh, double survey, but he gets the points in. He got a shield. He got a shield, then. It must have... Well, it looked like he had some shield, because you know, there was a double solar beam coming in on a crossway there, and it didn't even get touched. I, I, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I mean, that Bliss is still alive. I don't have a clue how that Bliss is still alive. That was better played towards the end there by a fair point, but a little too late. <laughs> Just a little too late. Yeah, very, very questionable players. Wow. That was uh, interesting. Interesting watch, but that does mean that past primates go 3-0. and 3-0, which is a massive, massive uh, victory for past premise that keeps them in the running for first place it means that fully stacked even if they win they are still within catching distance only just though they need fully stacked to stumble tonight for them to be you know closing that gap ever so because otherwise fully stacked could win this league um Justinian again breaking the 100,000 mark for the second time tonight 116,000 some impressive damage both Gigglebit and Justinian get a massive hat tip tonight for those solar beams coordinating together was amazing. Yeah. It's not fun to play against that. I've been <laughs> on the receiving end of that many a time. Uh, just a quick look at the graph. You can see here, this this match was fully dominated by past primates right from the get-go. Yeah. Even though uh, Fiala Polygraph did have some objectives, it was just taken... Just, yeah, as you can see, Past Primates, amazing play. So, congratulations to Past Primates on a 3 0 victory, and commiserations to Fiala Polyraf. Still a long way to go yet. We've still got three games left of the season, so anything can happen. So, it'll be interesting to see how Fiala Polyraf do come back after this game. Ooh. And Lupus has brought him in. So, what do you reckon then? 3 0 to past primates. How do you feel to, uh, about that, uh, Daryl? What was it? Sorry. Uh, with the 3 0, um, well deserved. You felt that that was a. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was, no, it was a no contest, really. I'm trying not to be too harsh to feel like Polly Raft, but there was a, a, big, a big difference there. But the thing is, I play with a lot of the members of Feel Polly Raft, and I've seen them play exceptionally like for some for some of the players then that's some, probably the worst i've seen them play for a long time i don't know whether it's the pressure i don't know if it's the stage that they're on but yeah 100 percent. like i like you said i'm with you i play with these players sometimes on a daily basis yeah, yeah. and I, we know how good they are <laughs> they are good players um so like you say maybe it's oh, a pressure yeah, it's huge. There's a huge difference between playing in solo and trio and ranks and playing competitive five stacks. 
That is a completely different game. Completely. Very true. Very true. And to be fair, Phil, I probably have had a bit of an upset with a fair few member change, so that's going to cause yeah. some... Not Savvy problem, the traitor. But, yeah, <laughs> Savvy the traitor. You heard it here first, Savvy the traitor. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that does mean that game gets wrapped up and we do head straight into our next match. Our next match is against Fully Stacked and Kimiko Esports. A huge, huge game. These two, like we said, are well known against each other and they are f- going to be fighting hard to win this. Yeah, I can't. Fully Stacked have probably got the upper hands slightly as they did beat Kimiko 3 0 last time they faced each other. So it will be interesting to see if Kimiko can return and come back with an answer. You think Kimiko are going to win this? Mm-hmm. I've got a feeling. Okay. That'll be, I mean, I... I'm a huge fan of every single player on Fully Stacked, but I think Kimiko have got this. Interesting. Although I said it'd be 2 1 to feel like Polly Raff. incredibly wrong about that. So <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Um, I think everyone's in. I think we're good to go. Um, so, ladies and gents, boys and girls, put your comments in, lock your. Votes, who do you think is going to win between this big game between Fully Stacked and Kimiko Esports? Um, Kimiko are away today, so we've got that. They'll be picking second in this draft pick. Um, I'm ready to go. Are you ready, Dole? I'm ready. Let's do this. So, Banzen, what do you reckon we're going to have? Um, I can see a Espeon again because I hate playing against an Espeon <laughs> and potentially an Urshifu. Okay, yeah. I mean, we would, oh no. Interesting. We've got a Dodrio and we've got a Slowbro ban. Um, and you said it, Severin goes in with the Urshifu locked straight in there. Seven and a shoe is scary. <laughs> ah. And Quagany, an ex player of Correct me if I'm wrong, but Severin our highest damaging player of the uh, I believe they are. They are the highest damaging player so far, yes. Um we have got Quagany who's locked in Espeon and Iron who's going comfy. Interesting. Uh Quagany was an ex player of um fully stacked. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> uh playing against his old team. Um, it looks like Mr. Nap's gone for Mime. Nice play. Um, if I can remember correctly, they do play quite a good Mime. And Mr. Nap does. And Charlie King go Mew. Uh, and we've got James as Buzzwall and Shorty as the Snorlax. Oh, and uh, SPV will be happy that I said Buzzwall and not Buzzwald. He did. <laughs> you got the Garden Wild right as well. Didn't want to mention it, though. I know, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've got here that it's a 3 0 fully stacked from Tepsi. Nice. And to finish off, Chloride is going for the Hooper and Loxy with a Lucario. We know Loxy can play a good Lucario, so that'll be interesting. And Tint with the Charizard locking. Final preference going in, some swaps going around. Uh, Nap is taking the Hooper and giving Chloride the Mime. Interesting. And the uh, Quagney has taken the Snorlax and given uh, Shorty the Espeon. I'm guessing they want to lock them in first. Yep. Smart team picks. Well, here we go. This is game one against Fully Stacked versus Kimiko Esports. I apologize now if I call them X Attack Lissy. I'll try not to. <laughs> I'll try not to. But here we go. Dolly's gone 2 1 Kimiko. Interesting. But your answers are going to be answered very shortly as we are going to dive straight in. Okay, so playing for fully stacked for the first time tonight, we have got Severin as Urshifu, Miss and Nap as Hooper, Charlie King as Mew, Chloride TV as Mime, and Loxy as Lucario. And we have Snorlax run by Quag. We have Iron on Comfy, MB James on Buzzwall, Shorty on Espeon, and Tins on Charizard. Interesting, some good uh, mons on both. Both his Brett's gone 3 0 disconnect. 
yeah, well, we'll see what happens here. Um, and we are going to jump straight now to this first game. Ready, go! Okay, following no fully... Yeah. So, no, fingers crossed. So, following fully stacked, it looks like the Hooper's going top with a confused Lucario. The Kai and Urshifu don't know where they're going yet. Uh, yeah, bit of a confusion there. But Mime and Mew are definitely bottom. Um... Up on the top lane for Kimiko, we have Hooper's got... Hooper's invade. Hooper invade. Hooper invade? Hooper invade? I need to miss... Didn't get it quick enough. No, but he's going, he's going for the red buff. Mario's just attacking. He's going for the red, but Iron has come down to stop him. Comfy trying to stop the uh, Hooper from getting that red buff. Uh, Charizard comes in. Is it going to be too late? Is Hooper going to concentrate on that red buff and take it from them? Um, he's tipping away from him. Um, oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, no way! He got the buff and off he's out. Doing that also dragged the EV out of the lane. Really? And he's, he's not really <laughs> They're all just chasing him around. Yeah, he's, Nap is just doing some work on this jungle all event. Home. Hi, guys. <laughs> See you later. That was a that was <laughs> nice hit play. That was very well played. Got Lucario uh, taking a lot the farm now. Uh, both junglers... No, only one jungler is top. The Charizard has gone bot lane. Big damage on Urshifu there. Big damage. Urshifu oh, almost got, almost got Duncan. Yeah, he's down. He's down. Comfy's there. Comfy's going to try and escape. Gets the dunks in. Nicely done. Uh, down the bottom lane. Not much is really Oh, going. wow. <laughs> the yeah, the, uh, the new and the mine both just used... Uh... The shield and push the uh farm out of the way and then both miss the moves <laughs> that's quite aggressive to watch i caught that <laughs> i did catch that um we have got it got all the fighting type up the top lane fighting he's it out back in the jungle. he's already taken the blue buff oh charlie charlie uh, tins is not having a good time against his hooper as hooper just nope. constantly takes his uh buff and he goes he goes again Beautiful play there. And Hooper's back again. <laughs> yep. He's in the Phantom Force and he can teleport straight back without coming through his ball. Brilliant. Um, elsewhere though, uh, Lox is hiding in the bush ready to dunk some points at the top there. But that's not where the action is. The action is down the bottom as we get ready for this Reggie to come down. It'll be interesting to see if it's going to be a Reggie Steel, Reggie Rock or Reggie Ice. Car and Buzzwell just scrapping up to Arp, not much is happening. Confi's jumped on to SP, jumps off then going on to the Snorlax. Oh, the car takes down the Buzzwall. It's going to break top goal there, take all the farm and probably hit level 9. Uh, it will do if he gets yet yeah, level, level 9 in. Nine. Nice. And he's uncontested. He's uncontested. Yep. Free farm, big overdunk up top. Buzzwell's gone back up top. And the same fact happening bottom for Registeel. There she from starting it. Big solar beam from the Mew. Mine putting them walls down. She's being super annoying. Oh. She's used to unite. Takes down the Espeon. Comfy couldn't heal quick enough. That is scary. Ursula taking down the Charizard. Um, and now it's just the Snorlax and the Comfy left. Snorlax goes down, Comfy left. And they dunk in some points. And this looks like it's going to be a nice little overdunk here. Oh. Yeah. 28 overdunk. Oh, no, it wasn't 23. Makaya uncontested top on Reggie Lecky. Uh, uh, Hooper is pretty big. Very, very strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, Makaya uh, takes with an ult. Now, that was smart play there by Loxie. Very. I heard that from inside of the map. Very smart play. The, the heavy slam came in, but as just Loxie put down his ult and was able to snatch it away, and he took two of yeah. them out. Lucario Unite does a lot of damage if it's right where it spawns. Man Unite straight in there, so we can't stop it. And in goes the points. Whew. This Hooper portal has been beautiful this game. Quagney sitting on bottom of his returns. I thought he was just sitting bottom there, but he uh, returned back. And. Um, Kimiko have got to pull something out of the bag here because they are falling behind massively here. Charizard and the Comfy go in for a nice cheeky dunk up top. 
It does leave 10 in there, ready for a nice, massive overdunk. Or for a regular, like he's walking and breaking by 10. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> yeah, I'd break this as soon as I possibly could. There you go, there's an 8 in. Oh, there's two left. Right, so that's smart by Kimiko. They've got two on that bottom goal, which is a really smart play. Quagney is trying to escape from Lucario. He uses heavy slams to try and get away. But Lucario is just too quick. Catches up to him. Oh, he uses by to push him back. Does he manage to escape? He, oh, just by the skin of his teeth, he manages to escape. Loxy wanted that kill on Quagney. I'm not surprised. Being former teammates. <laughs> Up on the top lane. We've got some pushing here going by the Buzzwell and the uh, Comfy. Buzzwell breaks it by 12. Not massive, but I suppose anything is better than nothing for right now. Top Reggie will be up in five seconds. Two seconds and it is up. Hooper's Rage and Rock and Roll Charles on Espeon are joining them. But the rest of the uh, fully stacked team are nowhere to be seen. Ah, uh, but Hooper does use his portal and, uh, sorry, ult and brings them all up. Ah, uh, and he comes in there and Kimiko just get annihilated. Great ult there, bringing the whole team down. I can definitely see Hooper getting banned in the next game. Okay, the Charizard all that has come in, hopefully trying to kill off the remaining uh, fully stacked members. And he does he does a little bit of damage taking them out, but they break their last final top goal, which is going to put Kimiko massively on a back foot here. Again, a massive level discrepancy. Got one minute. Two levels. One minute worth of one farming. Minute, really? Oh, and the Urshu comes in with the Mew. I do believe there's one more objective bottom. Might not be time for it, though. Uh, 50 points left in it, and it's very doable because they are... I think they've got enough points to, to break it if they push to wherever they want to, though, with 40 seconds to go. Will they want to push? Probably not. Uh, Five no time for it. No, no time for bottom Reggie. Um, I think the team's just going to farm. All they can do is farm. But right now, there's not a lot really going on. Um, Hooper, the one that's caused a lot of the mayhem today in his first game, is just hovering around the, the middle and the Urshifu as well. Urshifu causing a heck of a lot. Of level 14, Lucario level 14. Well, mine is in a cheeky position here. I think you know he's there though. Yep. Yep. He always oh, come. Oh, I thought he might have gone in then for the dunk, but he didn't. Three seconds, two seconds, one, and Ray is up. Oh, the shield to block them in there. They can't move. They can't move out of the way. And the all That is big oh. damage. Wow. That's a team wipe. Wow, that was a team wipe in less than five wow. seconds. Wow. That... <laughs> that, that was a nuke. That was a nuke. The mime put that... Sh uh, barrier up and they just could not move out of the way. Hooper with the ult and they just were stuck. Yep. That has that has got to be probably the quickest team wipe we have seen here at the PUCL. Oh, yeah. um, Chloride and Quagany are just dancing at the moment. I think they, they know Kimiko know it's over. Charizard comes in with the ult, takes out the Mew, um, takes out the Espeon as well. The um, Urshifu is still knocking about. It's still knocking about. <laughs> never see dancing bottom <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, that's what this game's all about. You know, the game, even though, you know. Friendships. It's friendships, yeah. You know, the, the, it's, it's been a tough game for Kimiko this match. And, uh, yeah, to have a bit of fun and laugh and joke about it, it's, it's, it's all part and parcel. However, they are chasing down Mr. Knapp, Buzzwell, and uh, Charles are with the Confi chasing um, Hooper. Hooper manages to disappear. It's like, yep, see you later, guys. I ain't messing around. Here comes the rest of the team. Go for one last push. That's <laughs> not Stop acting. <laughs> nice all there from the Snorlax. That Confi does so much healing. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, and that solar beam comes in. But Kimiko have uh, managed oh to Oh my god, that's a big solar beam. Some nice point damage points there. Three, two, one. Time's up. Nice little scores at the end there. Nice little push. If the Snorlax wasn't dancing and helped the team fight a bit, <laughs> it might have been a bit different, but yeah, it was nice to see. Oh, filthy wall, yeah, indeed, yeah, the chat's saying that's filthy, yeah, that was, uh, that was very filthy. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to seeing these stats when they pop up. Um, look at the quick bow yeah. data here. Okay. So some high numbers over on the teams, especially on the damage side of stuff. 88k, 83k, 71k over on fully stacked. Some high, high numbers there. Um, top damage going to seven with the Urshifu, which we kind of had an inkling would happen. But looking at the graph here, you can see fully stacked right off the bat come in and they just started to take away. Moving further and further away as the minutes go along and yeah, they hit that ray and boom, off they go. So. A well-deserved one-point victory so far for fully stacked. There's been a bit of a trend tonight that um, the level discrepancy going into the final fight has always been like two to three levels. Oh, yeah. And it, it seems like games are snowballing quite hard. Um, that Hooper invade at the beginning, that it took three members of Kimiko to deal with it and we still didn't deal with it. Oh, the Hooper invade, that right at the bat was impressive. And the fact that he managed to get... That uh, the, the the buff, <laughs> even with the Charizard on him and the Confi on him, it was just like yeah, cheers, and then teleporting back, saying see you later, Adios, and coming back again, it was just yeah. <laughs> I know I know you've not had a chance to watch the Adios Cup yet, but no. in the grand finals, um, between Tally, Bobo, and Nouns, we had a Decidueye invade. Oh, um, but, the, but the stream cut out, so we couldn't actually see it. Really. Mhm. Mm oh. Yeah, looking forward to watching that. I'm not going to lie. Grand finals of the EU AOS Cup. And we had a situation wandering into the enemy jungle. <laughs> oh, I'll look forward to that. I'll look forward to that. <laughs> Nap. I hope the first round was crazy enough for you. Uh, oh, it was. <laughs> it was crazy indeed. Um, yeah, amazing. Just... Wow, just, I mean, we knew this game was going to be a big one and fully stacked, did not disappoint, did not disappoint at all. Uh, Brent Mon, yeah, uh, Loxie is a disgusting player with Lucario, very much so. Um, are you ready, Mr. Dowell, as we go into match number two ready. or round two, which I want to call it? Okay, we'll dive straight in then. I'm going to keep the viewers waiting. Here we go. So... Kimiko do get the um, first pick for this game. And it'd be interesting to see what bans come in. I don't know who they're going to ban. The Urshifu, or they're going to ban the Lucario, or they're going to ban the Hooper. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Hooper and Urshifu, I think. Yeah, I can imagine that whatever doesn't get banned, I think James might nick. <laughs> he might take it for the team. Yep, and you called it, Darrell, you called it. Hooper and Urshifu both banned, and James does take the SB on, which is a good one. Oh, oh, something different coming in here by the looks of it. Nope. I thought they might have had a champ then. I don't think... <laughs> no, Mr. Nap takes the Confi, and Chloride takes the Trevenant. Nice picks. Very nice picks. Who are the bands in the first game? Espion and... First game? Uh, first game was... Um... No, it wasn't Espion. It wasn't Espion, no, it was... Uh... Traffic off the top of my head who it was now. Oh, I should remember. I don't know. I'll have to try and think. <laughs> I can't think. Uh, no, it was... Um... Hope, the, hope the chat can help us out. Yeah, please chat if you remember who, who, who was a cop band. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, none of them that are playing, though. <laughs> uh, I can't remember who it was now. It was... Uh, 
You know what? I can't believe I can't remember. Can't remember. Uh, what's the score so far? Uh, the score was 1 0 uh, SPV to fully stacked. Um, you know what? You've got my head back in now, what it is. <laughs> okay, they're the teams. Uh, sorry, we completely went off track there, chat. I do apologise for everyone watching. Um, final preparations in, some bits and bobs, people switching and that. And we'll see what we lock in as. Looking at the team comp we got there, uh, Daryl, uh, notice any, like, anyone that stands out in particular? Uh, no, both teams have got a solid healer, decent front line, good range, good secure. Uh, hopefully we see a save by invade, which I'm pretty much sure we're going to. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't Nap the Hooper last game. He was. So, yeah, I can probably see a save by invade, uh, which we be interesting. I am a personal fan of the jungle invade. I try and do it as often as possible. Oh, I Even know. if I'm bottom lane <laughs> and I'm dominating bottom lane, I'll always just go up and take the blue buff. So here we are, round two for this game between Fully Stat and Kimiko Esports. On Kimiko's team, we've got James playing Buzzwall, Quagony playing Snorlax, Shorty playing Espion, Tins, Delphox, and finally, I and their captain playing Vissy. And for Fully Stat, we have Nat on Sableye, Chloride on Comfy, Chari King on Zoroark, Severin on Cinderace, and OG Loxy on Trevenant. Very interesting picks there. Uh, Loxy taking a def uh, defender build. So, a defender, sorry, it's going to be to see how that goes. Ready, go. And here we go. So, over on to Kimiko. Kimiko's lineup is looks like it's going to be the Buzzwall and the Blissey going top lane. Cinderace in the center with the Espeon nope, and Snorlax. The and. Oh, this has gone jungle, but it does like the same. Also stop the play by invading, which is what he's going to yeah. go look for now. I think they were they were expecting that the jungle invade, and the jungle invade comes in, and he takes it. Get it. He Beautiful. takes it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that was a nice take. Now, does he go for red buff? This is it. He's, he's, he's so high. He's taken red buff and just gone straight top. And he, no, he doesn't take red buff. Blissey gets to red buff, but very close though by Nap there. That was a really nice jungle invade. Oh, and he is going down to get some points as well. And he dumped a nice little four behind them. He's doing some little bits here, a little save line. Big shot from the SP on there. Yep. Sorry about that. Um, I just had a bit of audio failure flying back. So where are we? Um, up on the top lane, Blissey is doing a bit of dancing, waiting for those middle birds to come in. Um, it looks like a bit of a share of that. Of that oh, is going to go down. Oh, Snarcy Jack's out. Big set of shark. That Sableye's just having a great game. Oh, Sableye runs away. He managed to get away. We've got yeah. XP share and his speed. He's absolutely fine. <laughs> Taking that back farm now, giving a lot more experience than he usually would. He's quick, isn't he? So why he's proper quick. Oh, yeah, he's really fast. Uh, jo uh, Zo Zoark just gets away thanks to the comfy heels. Um, Tins is only level 5 in the jungle. I've actually sent the Snorlax there for the XP share. Snorlax should stand with him, so he gets more experience from it. Three seconds till middle birds come up and looks like the teams are in place. Um, what do you get? The old oh, Zoark comes in. Zoark and. Oh, God. Yeah. A lot of that did go to fully stacked. Oh, oh nice kill there by Shorty. Shorty, nice Can kill. Get the Fox? Can Charlie get with Fox? He does. Beautiful. Oh, he had a comfy on him. Of course he had him. <laughs> he needs to run now, though. He needs to run. Take your comfy with you. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could take the comfy. Run away. So they are split up here. It'll be interesting to see if they do go for the bottom, full bottom, or whether they go for a split top bottom. And they rotate bottom after all this. That's another nice um, secure on that farm there, fully stacked. Buzzwell and. Uh, oh, Buzzwell, sorry. Oh, he wasn't. Zarok and um, Comfy just playing around the top there, and they jump in on the Buzzwell, uh, James and. Do they take it? No, they 
pull away. Nope. Bottom objective is a steal. Yeah, that's a good one to take. Don't need that. Still in the jungle. The Zara has rotated down. Sableye's going up top. And they've started Registeels on half health. Yeah, it's half health. Uh... Revenant down already. Fully stacked in a bit too hard onto that. Oh, nice oh, yes, ult. That's, that was a nice great. ult. Yeah. That was a brilliant, yeah. That was a nice uh, take for Kimiko, much needed as well. Well played by Kimiko there. Yeah, massively played. Uh, MB Jane's just stacking up. I feel like fully stacked start the uh, Reggie. You got it to half health and they all died. Nice. That's a nice little, that's a little, nice little overdunk there. I'm not gonna, mm -hmm. not gonna diss that. That was nice. And Trevor goes down. What a kill there from the Delphox. Oh, that was some bits there. Up on the top lane, they've started the Reggie Lecky uncontested. So that's. Uh, that Alright, is... got a triple kill down bottom. 28 um, overdunk. Yeah, it's a huge overdunk there, but. They have secured top lane. So. Up into a 23. Uh, Sableye with a nice old cheeky thing there. Yeah, it goes to show really um, that uh, Kimiko have now got two objectives and you can see the difference from the first game to this game. With 37 overdunk top lane. Put, uh, put Kimiko back in the lead. Coming up to the halfway mark. Sableye doing his bits, running around. Um, he's actually going to... He's actually started a fight with Buzzwall. Um, got destroyed in the process. I don't know what his, his thinking was there. Zarak just caught in three people. Yeah, Zarak is... is nice. Zarak is very comfy on it. He's doing a lot of damage. Oh! Wow. What, a, what a kill. Wow. Severin with that ult. Wow. <laughs> Leave it on one, 39 over, beautiful. Well played from fully stacked there. Bottom objective coming up in four. Snorlax is the only one in position for it. And we have Reggie Rock. Can we, um, fully stacked are quite low on health. Uh, Sableye's literally got, what, one fifth health left. So we're interested to see going into this, this uh, fight here. Oh, and Zorox. Oh, Sableye, you know you've messed up, Sableye. Sableye goes down. Yeah, he's distracting. He's distracting. Oh. No, you're not. It's up on the side of a... Uh, of a uh, fully stacked there. Uh, and very secure. Yeah. Oh, he still gets it. No, I would say. Wow. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, the, the, bl the Blissey should have gone for that. The Blissey just ignored that uh, Reggie and... Uh, it just like say one hit when he would have got it. That was uh, that was really nice. Still jumping there, but it's not Zorlax enough. Had a great game. Oh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky for Kimiko there. But great play by uh, Fully Stat. You can't, you know, you know, it's unlucky for Kimiko. It's a very nice play from uh, Fully Stat. Say by getting a nice forty in bottom. Say by doing say by fingers. It's put them back in the lead though, and uh, fully stacked, and now leading the game with oh, about eight points. To get away there. He's chasing him down. Oh, Delphox nice out. kill there. And some more points going in there from the Trev. Fuck up the stun from Sableye. Wow. Don't know what's going to happen with this top from Reggie as Quag retreats. Yeah, um, Severin's just going to start this. Yeah, they start it. Both of them start it. The Trev and the Cinderace. So I was nasty on that to steal. Nope, no near it. Yeah, it's been taken. Snorlax down. Obviously, muscle band being on um, a Cinderace absolutely destroys any tank or defender. Yeah. <laughs> Severin might be 14 here for last time. It's still. Oh, I want cast uh, Kimiko out though. It's still close. Um, Sableye tried to go down for that cap there, but uh, Quagane with the Snorlax was waiting for them um, and it is not going to move. He's going to stay there, which uh, I don't blame them. However, look, just doing very however, bad things. however, look at him go. He's sneaking around the back. He's waiting and he's coming. He's coming. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. 
Beautiful play. Oh, double he got points as well. Double points. That was wow. amazing well play. Amazing. Time that perfectly. Getting the dunking just as we go into double point zone. Oh. Buzzwall's down. He's yeah, just going to take them off one by one. Oh, wow. Double Things kill. All right, United. And the United from the Snorlax goes oh. in. Unless the United went on to the Snorlax. That's not what you want. Oh, Sibley's got some points in at the top. Oh, I can tie it in, but yeah. That's the team gone. Blissey running away. I was like, nope, I want to get out of here. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like fully stacked. Oh, they have just started it. Just yeah, started it. Just draw him in a little bit. Yeah. He won't take that. They know they're winning by a lot. Uh, I ain't got the 40 in top. Still close, still anyway, there's one minute left. They can still do this. If they get the veggie, they could do a last minute onslaught. So we'll see what happens here. This last just, team fight. Safe, safeguard blesses so we have no healing. Oh, Espeon all goes in, Loxy goes down. It's, it's a two for two. It's a two for two, two for two. Zavok goes Zavok down. Oh no, it's a team wipe. It's a team Every wipe. Player. Severin again. And look at the speed of Severin with the Cinderace smashing the damage yep. off on top of Quaza. 30 seconds left. The Requaza has gone. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know what to say to that. That was... Shield's gone. <laughs> yeah, but Comfy got 100 up top. Yeah, it was GG anyway. That was one of the best Sableye performances I've seen. Oh, that Sableye. Amazing. The jungle invade, the stuns in team fights, the 80 score in the last second. You know what? There was a moment there where I thought Kimiko, yeah, they've got them. Yeah, I thought Kimiko could have this and then right, like, just literally the rug, take it away. Goodbye, Kimiko. Wow. Yeah, Cherry had a good game on uh, Zorark then. Yeah, look at the stats. Uh, Shorty, though, bringing it over the 83k. Nice damage there. But Charlie came 91k with a Zorark. Amazing damage. Um, just a quick look at the stats there. Some good numbers coming in from both teams. Uh, looking at the... See, if you look at the chart, a much closer game. A much closer game. You had uh, Kimiko, who were leading... Pretty much right up until the five minute mark, um, and then they fell behind, but not by much, they're only behind by no more than 80 points. And then as that was it, coming to the last last two minutes of the game, and uh, they just kind of ran away with it. Fully stacked, did amazing, but a much closer game, a much closer game. It was uh, Dodrio and Slowbro who were banned in the first game. There we go. Thank you to uh, DB Nerd. Thank you, DB Nerd. <laughs> My brain can ease for a moment. Okay, so that is a 2 0 victory to fully stacked. However, like we say, you play three rounds. Can Kimiko regain a little bit of honor and take a point off them? They need to. They need to really get this point, and otherwise, the past primates are going to start storming ahead of them. And that race for second and first place is going to become a lot harder to chase. Um, in fact, I think as, as more matches go on, it tests the players and the teams a lot more. Obviously, there's more bands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, so we're going to have the another... More play, the more characters that you can play efficiently, yeah. the better a player you are. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100. Again, going back to the, uh, going back to the AS Corp, Toon Slim, who plays for Titan Over, um, I think he played 15 different Pokemon. At a, at a competitive level, which yeah. is ridiculous. That's that's mad. Usually you have like one or two that are like maybe three that are in your pocket, and then like maybe a f three more yeah. you can play. Mental. So how that then? That that game we just seen there. Who for you stood out the most? Who was your? I mean, obviously, I, I, I nap on nap, yeah. nap on save line. Nap on save line. Yet again, uh, going in with that jungle invasion. I do feel that Kimiko were expecting it. <laughs> yeah, the Zara arc was very impressive as well. 
Yeah. Just dive into the back line. Straight mm. straight past the defenders. Yeah. Kimiko had a lot better. Um, I think their team comp worked a lot better. I think to yeah, com- I agree. Uh, the, compared to the first game, they were they looked a lot more solid. It was just uh, so, like, some games can be won and lost in the in the pick ban phase. Oh, hundred percent. And we've seen it. We've seen it in the PUCL. We've seen some picks mm-hmm. where you just go like, yeah, we know that those that pairing is like disgusting. And there's no one to counter it. We've seen it before mm-hmm. when we saw Tommy when he used to play Greedon. And he'd go in and no one could touch him. Like he would just be in the jungle, he'd be here, he'd be there, and no one could counter him. And because of that, he was able to just have free range of the map. And that was it. It was game over pretty much. Um oh, the greens that I get on my teams in solo queue. They're doing thirteen K damage and scoring two hundred. Mm. So what do you lot think? Um Two games down, and we have fully stacked our winning 2-0. and And we go into the third and final game for tonight. Um, please let us know your thoughts, how you feel yeah, it's going on. Yeah, right. Charry is crapped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charry's a very good player. Yeah. I mean, everyone here tonight that's played are very good players. Like, very good players. Just getting the teams loaded in for the last game. Yeah, last game of the night. Um, I'm not used to these only playing two games. Um, I'm, I'm kind of expecting the third one to come in. <laughs> We've still only ran at the same time frame. Yeah, I know, tell about it. <laughs> you are the master at chatting bollocks. Well, you know. <laughs> you know. Okay, I think everyone is in pretty much. I think... When you, I think you are, are you team lead? We are ready. We are ready. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Um, I, he's insane. (laughs) Okay, so we go ban phase. I don't know who they're going to ban because every time they ban someone, someone new comes, like another mom comes in. That's amazing. Look at Nap. Who was that Hooper player? <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Buzzwell and... Okay. Okay. Interesting uh, bands. A supporter. Uh, Walt DMC, Nap TV, not as good as the Save My Game 2. Save My Game 2 was impressive. I'm not going to lie. It was an impressive Save game. Save My Game 2, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think the Save My Game definitely outshone the, the uh, Hooper game. Sorry. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, Severin has taken the Espion. And Iron has uh, gone and taken Eldegoss, and MB James has gone and taken the Trevenant um, Two Strong Mons. And a Mr. Nap coming with a Blissey and a Loxy with a Machamp. This would be interesting to see a Machamp play. Um, I like I, I like Machamp, uh, and it'd be interesting to see them in this comp. Uh, Quagney with the Gudra and Shorty with the Sylveon. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, I was going to say, I was talking about Tommy Lee Ingredient, but. Uh, Chai Kin now picking along with Chloride. Let's see what they go with. It'd be interesting to see Gudra, because Gudra didn't get very ha- highlighted very well in the uh, previous games. Yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to see how it fares. Because it didn't get picked much in the AOS Cup. Okay. Was that just because like people have not had a chance to play with it, do you reckon? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's. Uh... I've not played too much of it, but what from what I can see, it's not. There's other defenders that do what it does better. Yeah. So if you want it to tank and CC, you pick a Snorlax. If you want it to self-sustain, you pick a Trevenant. Yeah, Trevenant's definitely up there still. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I know Trevenant. you're... you're, you're... I, 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 I'm a Trevenant, mate. I play Trevenant as an all-rounder. I know you do. You um, love Trev. I do. I just think the other game is really, really good, especially if you're stacking with it. Mm. I... But obviously, players comparatively play it a lot more support-ish, so they play with an XP share on, like we see MB James playing here. Yeah, um, I, 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 I just feel like and XP share. Is. Okay. A lot of HP, and obviously your whole leech scales off your max HP. Yeah. All of your healing does on Dreadnought, so the more HP you have, 
yeah. the more heroes you do. Very true. And here we go, the third and final game of this match between Foist Life and Kimiko. We have got Severin with Espion, Nap as Blissey, Lox as Machamp, Char King as Mime and Chloride as Glaceon. And we have Iron on Eldegoss, MBJ on Trevenant, Wagoni on Gudra, Shorty on Sylveon, and Tins on Greninja. Hey guys, sorry. Ash. Yes. No, they picked Glaceon, which is a bon uh, banned mon, but apparently they need to do a move that they ask is it worth maybe doing. Um, if it's okay, both teams either doing it again or do they have to forfeit? Like, what's kind of going on now? Right, say that again. Sorry, what's going on? They've picked Glaceon, which is currently a banned mon. Yeah. Um, they're saying that it's something to do with, uh, they believe only a certain move set's banned, but obviously they're happy to forfeit unless there's like a, unless there is another game that will go on instead. But it's obviously your right. discretion, whatever, it, I guess. It is a ban. Obviously, that's a confusion on their part. Ask if they want, uh, basically it's up to the team, if they want to play the round, they can do, and they can choose a different one. I'll would, go and speak to both teams. All right. It should be, uh, obviously, obviously the confusion for them is, because obviously it is a move ban, but we've banned it, banned it. So, um, ask the opposite team. Okay, no problem. Okay, we'll reset, we'll reset, and we'll just see what happens. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they want to play the game out. Yeah, I know they'll want to play the game out. I can pretty much guarantee Kim and Co are going to want to play. Because it's... They, they're not ones for trying to have a, a, a an easy win out of it. Um, the only reason I let that slide is because of his, uh, the Glaceon is only a, a move ban everywhere else, but it yeah, is a... I hope foot... you do know that Glaceon's banned, don't you? Yeah, don't worry. We've already saw yeah, it. Get back in your box. Go on. Go back in your box. Go on. Disappear. Go away. <laughs> leave, us, leave us to deal with it, Mr. SPV. Right, what's uh, what's everyone saying? Just bear with us, uh, ladies and gents. We are just going to discuss this quickly. What's going on? Okay, it is a DQ. So it's a two wow. and one. So it's a two and one DQ. Um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, there won't be a third game. Uh, it is a DQ um, match and it has been finished. But they do want to sit, ask if they want to play for fun. I'm happy for them to play for fun if they are, you want to. Yeah. Exhibition game. Let's exhibition go. game. Yeah, let's go. We'll have an exhibition game. <laughs> About hush, we are following our own rules. We were just discussing something because due to the move set issues, but it's fine. Yeah. In um, in the math code, it's banned just one move set, but we've banned the entire panel. Come on. Yes. Then there, because but it was there was a confusion yeah. between that. Same. Yeah. We're good. We're playing. Yeah. So this one's a forfeit. The last game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just, 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 are they still, play still playing as an exhibition or are we done? No, they're not playing any more games. Oh, is that about? Cool. Okay, cool. Yep. They're going to forfeit that last game for the ban. No, okay, no worries. Happy days. Okie doke. Okay, well. ladies and gents, that's it, yeah. Um, a bit of an abrupt end to the night. Um, and it's a win to fully start, but only by 2-1. Uh, Kimiko do get the one point. Uh, they'll be probably be happy with a one point, if I'm honest. Um, yeah. So, 
I can't really comment anymore because that, that's it done. But however, what we do have, I'm shocked by that. <laughs> yeah, so am I actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand the confusion if they if they follow math chord and they saw Glacion move ban, yeah. and obviously saw Weeg band, they may not have realised fully it was a full mon ban, which was yeah. why it was we, spoken we, about. We had Cathable banned previously. Yes, we have. Where it was just one move set that was banned. Yes, we have. But we didn't yeah. specify with Glacion. So maybe that's part of that. That's no, it's, it's a bit. It's a bit of a confusion. That's why we had a quick discussion. So those in chat and those discussing it in chat about it, it wasn't the fact that it was a full mom ban from both sides. So we understand there was a bit of confusion. So we're talking about it. Um, but that is us for tonight, ladies and gents. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, apologies for the disconnects that we had on the first game, and also we had another yeah, DQ. It does, yeah. it does, and that's that's actually the third DQ we've had this season. Um, it is. It's been it's happened a lot more than expected. So. Yeah, hundred um, percent. However, what I do want to talk about is not the league standings, even though that is last week's league standings. It does mean that Fully Stack do stay in first place with sixteen points. Um, past primates do chase them down. They'll be on nine points, so they are still within chance of catching up to them. Um, but what I wanted to show everyone is next week's games. So game week eight, this is what we've got forward to look forward to. We've got past primates at home against Golducks. And then we have the return of Kimiko versus Fila Polyraf, um, which does mean that Fully Stack get the night off as they would be scheduled to play ODD and get the automatic three points. So next week, next Sunday, so a week today, we'll be back. SPV should be with us. So it'll be back to normal running as we see past primates take on Golducks. Kimiko take on Fila Polyraf. Oh, excuse me. So for me, thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you all next week. And thank you very much, Dale, for joining us and stepping in. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. See you later, guys. Good night. Bye, guys.